Hey everyone, this is Faustina from MDFM, Make Deliverance Famous Ministries. Go ahead and like and share this video today. Don't forget to subscribe as well because this week, Shen and I will be coming back for a new video. So subscribe to get the notification when we do upload a new video. So why am I here today? I'm here to release a prophetic dream the Lord gave me to release to the body of Christ. Amen. Keywords, body of Christ. If you're in the body of Christ, this dream is for you. So please listen to what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. The Lord uses us um, as prophets also to have prophetic dreams, um, to warn, to instruct, or to direct. So this is the prophetic dream I had this past weekend. In the dream, I was watching the dream. And that also indicates to me that I am also to intercede. Right, so in the dream, there was a lady on a high wooden swing up in the air. The swinging back and forth. Nothing's holding her up. I'm like, God, how she's in the air by herself? But that was a whole dream. And the woman was Beyonce. She was in a high swing up in the air in a large field. There was people underneath her. And as she's swinging, she had like this yellow dress on. And the yellow dress had petals on the hem. So as she's swinging in the dream, the petals are falling off the hem of her garments. And people are picking it up. And they're putting the petals in their bosom. Oh my God, this is strange. And that was a whole dream. But then I woke up and I began to pray against the spirit of divination, the spirit of witchcraft, the spirit of sorcery. And I went back to bed. And boom! Again, the dream comes back to me. I'm watching the dream. And Beyonce is still on the high swing up in the air, just swinging back and forth up in the air ear literally in the ear nothing's holding her up and she's swinging back and forth in the swing but now the wood looks a little bit darker and she's singing and she's singing la 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 and it's like a lullaby she's singing and she's as she's singing she's releasing like it looks like an enchantment on the people and they begin to eat the petals so some of them are putting them in the bosom some of them are eating it and as i'm watching the dream it's like in the dream, her face begins to contort and begins to look hideous, looked like a demon or an alien. It was so disgusted. It looked like the, the, the movie Alien with Sidonia Wiener. It looked like that. It was just so hideous and fierce. And as I woke up from the dream, I was kind of shook. I'm like, God, that was just, that was ugly. What was that? And the Lord reminded me of the spirit that entered her called Sasha Fierce. That was what God was showing me. That's the spirit in operation. She calls it her also ego that makes her perform, but it is a demon. It's a high ranking demon that has also infiltrated her because she accepted it. The Lord reminded me of a video that she made years ago that said that when she raised her hands up, something entered her and took over her body. That's a demon. Okay, and we have to realize that when she's singing, what's being released is what's enforcing the the actions, the the way that she performs. It is a deity that has invoked her, right? And as a Christian, if we're listening to her music, what do you think is entering your ear gate? So we can't. And the Lord was reminding me that we can't drink from the cup of the table of the. The, the Lord and the devils at the same time. We have to choose one church. We have to choose one. The Lord will show me that there are people that were that, that are secretly listening to Beyonce still. And she's enchanting them with her lyrics, with her songs, with the frequency from her from her tone. It is a whole demon. Not saying she's not talented, not saying she's not um gifted with a voice, but the demon, this fierce demon has infiltrated her soul and is an operation. So whenever you're buying her music, whenever you listen to her music, Sasha Fierce is who you're listening to, is who you're invoking into your ear gate. The Lord says to repent, church. And the word repent means to turn, to turn from what you're doing and turn to God. Also, the word repent means to change your mind. Now, I cannot force you to do anything you don't want to do. This is a warning from the Lord for the church to repent and to renounce the things you have been listening to that once that they follow you, 
that wants to deceive you and to keep you in bondage. Because there's nothing in the world but the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Everything that Beyonce is doing is inspired by a demon. The song she releases, the tours that she's on, it doesn't produce anything from the kingdom of God. It's all sensual, lustful, perverted, demonic. And the truth will set you free. So even if you listen to me now and you're getting upset at me, you're getting angry at me, you think I, I'm, I'm stupid or you think I should just shut up, you may be manifesting too. Because demons don't like to hear the truth. And they like to keep people ignorant in darkness. And the third dream, when I woke up, I began to pray. When I went to bed, boom, the third dream. This is where the dream gets really interesting. Her chair that she's swinging on her seat gets really black. It's getting like marble black. Like it was just like black, black, black. It turned from first wood to dark wood to now like marble black. And she still manifest into that demon but no one is paying attention because they're so mesmerized by her voice they're ingesting and intaking what she's given them from the hem of her garment and it's not healing like jesus's hem no it's a demonic release and the lord is sending this dream to warn the church be careful what you entertain who has bewitched you if you feel that you cannot stop listening to Beyonce, that might be an indication that she has bewitched you. So you need to repent and renounce and come out of agreement with listening to these songs that has brought you in a place of bondage. You may not see it. You may not know it. But try to stop to listen to her and see what happens. So today, I want to also pray for Beyonce because she's still a soul. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And that's what God reminded me also that she is still a soul. So I'm not here to bash her. I'm not here to degrade her. I'm here to release the truth. And the truth is that Jesus still loves her. And if she repents too, God will forgive her. Because she has made a covenant with demons. But her soul can be redeemed. There's no one that's beyond God's redemptive plan for salvation. If you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. If you, if you repent of your sins, you will be saved. God is a just God. And it, what does it benefit you for you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? It doesn't matter how much money she has. It doesn't matter how much accolade she has. It doesn't matter how much grammy she has. If her soul is not anchored to the Lord, she is going to bust hell wide open. And that's not the will of God for her life. So I'm going to pray for her mind as well because she's still in there. And I'm going to pray for the souls of those who are being bewitched by her so they will be break free. And like I said, this is for believers. Now, the things of the kingdom of God is going to sound foolish to people who are not believers. You're going to think I'm doing the most. You're going to think, I, you're going to think I'm judging. No, we are to judge righteously. Paul says, what do I have to do with judge people outside the, the world? If we judge inside, we judge you by your fruits. What are you producing? Right? Because I, I expect people in the world to do what people in the world do. Right? But if you're in the body of Christ, you should know better. There should be a check in your spirit that something is off about me listening to Beyonce songs. There should be a check in your Holy Spirit, in your knower. And if you're feeling convicted, that's a good thing. God loves us that much that he will send his spirit to convict us unto repentance. Not to condemn us, right? But we have to make a decision, church, body of Christ. Who are we going to serve? We can't serve two masters. There's no room for idolatry in the kingdom of God. There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. You can't be part of the, the daughters of, of Ocean and the daughters of the king. No, you got to pick one. It doesn't work like that. I'm going to pray today. For souls and also for Beyonce. If this is you, 
and you're in the body of Christ and you've been listening to Beyonce, you've been buying her songs, you've been going to her concerts, the Lord wants you to repent. And it's free will. So if this is you, you can repent after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent and renounce of all my sins, known and unknown, all my transgressions, all my iniquities, known and unknown. Father, today I specifically repent of listening to songs from Beyonce that was inspired and invoked by a demon. Father, please forgive me according to 1 John 1 and 9. If I confess my sins to you, you are faithful and just to forgive me and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Father God, wash me, cleanse me, purify my thoughts. Go into my inner ear, outer ear, middle ear, and do a deep clean. Whatever I have listened to, Father, that has taken root in my heart, I pray you would uproot it right now in Jesus' name. I denounce, I renounce the songs that I have listened to from Beyonce. I break all covenants, oaths, and agreements I have made by listening, buying, producing ungodly thought patterns in Jesus' name. Father, I ask right now that your Holy Spirit would come and refill me with your goodness, with your love, with your joy. Give me a hunger and thirst after righteousness and the things of God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you said in your word that whosoever calls upon your name, you will deliver. Deliver me now, Father, from the spirit of perversion, the spirit of witchcraft, the spirit of sorcery, the spirit of divination, the spirit of python. Break right now in Jesus' name. I command my mind to be free. I command my mind to be whole. I command my mind to make conscious decisions to serve you and you alone, Lord. I will not put any idols before you, Father. I repent. I renounce of idolatry in Jesus' name. Create in me a clean heart, God. Renew in me a right spirit in Jesus' name. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercies, God. Help me to stay on the straight and narrow path for your name's sake. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. If you pray this prayer, you are feeling a sort of like itchiness, headache, um, warmness. Those are all signs of manifestation. If you feel anything, leave your ear. That's also a sign of manifestation because demons, spirits, they leave through exits. Like, like your ears, your nose, your throat. That's why sometimes people um, throw up in deliverance because the spirits are leaving. Okay. Now, this was just a general prayer. Um, if you could leave me a comment that if this was you or if you're upset at me, you could put whatever you want. Um, we can have dialogues. At the end of the day, we are going to reason together. Amen. And like I said, this was for the body of Christ. I don't expect for people in the world to agree with me. But if you are convicted, this is good. That means you can repent. And be saved. Amen. And even for Beyonce, I pray for her soul. Because she's still a soul. So, Father, I pray right now for Beyonce's mind. I pray, Father God, that you remind her, God, of the love you have for her, God. Remind her of when she served you at an early age. Remind her of when she used to sing songs to you, Father. Remind her, Father, that she still has a place in your kingdom, Father God. But all you're asking for her is to repent. And to break these covenants she has forged, oh God, throughout the years. We pray by that her heart would not be hardened. And that she would not try to serve two masters. But she would release, mighty God, the old and embrace the new. We pray for her soul today, Jesus. That you would even send someone with a word, God. And we pray, Father God, that someone else will come and water the word, God. 
but you will get the increase. Even now, God, if someone even even see this video and share it with her or anyone in her in her associates, that I pray, God, that you will just convict her heart to repentance and remind her most of all, God, that you love her that much, God. You don't want her to go from darkness to darkness, God. You want her to go from glory to glory in you. So, Father, I pray for her soul today, God. Yes, Lord, I pray, God, that she will make a conscious decision, God, to come out of agreement with this deity that she has called upon, God, to be her also ego. We reject that lie from the pit of hell in Jesus' name. We reject every lying demon that wants to let her know that they need her and she needs them. The devil is a liar. Father, remind her that you gave her a gift, God. She doesn't have to pervert it. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you will give her grace, God, and give her time to repent. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So, like I said, this is um, just a quick dream the Lord gave me to release. Shannon and I will be back this week for a new episode, a new video on some form of deliverance. Why you need deliverance, right? Deliverance is the children's bread. And as a believer, we can do things to open up doors to enter in. Whether it's consciously or unconsciously, like for instance, um, things we listen to, things we watch. Right, we have to be mindful that we guard our gates, our eye gate, our air gate. Amen. Whatever you hear the most is what is, is going to feel, feed your soul. Whatever you watch the most is going to feed your soul. Right. Whatever you're eating the most in the natural is going to feed you the most. Right. And give you either nourishment or malnutrition. All right. So govern yourselves accordingly, body of Christ. I love you over the love of God. Continue to watch and pray and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys this week by God's grace. Shalom.